welcome to this uh, get ready with me video where in this case I'm going to talk to you instead of doing a voiceover and this is maybe the first time I'm doing this so I'm not very good at this uh, I, I, I think it's uh, it was very difficult talking while doing the makeup um, so my respect goes out to everyone who uh, casually sorry who casually just uh, does this all the time um, yeah this is the look I've done a little purple glittery shimmery thing Here we go okay I wanted to do this so I guess uh, <laughs> this is it now we're starting with um, an already um, kind of foundation face I used my standard bit where is it this is uh, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation with the Angel Veil primer before and then I put on some Essence All About Matte Powder all relatively cheap products which you can find in drugstores in Germany so nothing special so while I'm contouring my face a little bit it's, uh, it's another NYX um, single I think the, the color is called Raven Bowl, a gray eyeshadow. Um, what to talk about in these videos? This is exactly why I always did a voiceover before this video in the makeup things, is I don't know what to talk about. So maybe I can I can talk about why I don't know what to talk about. You see, I'm always extremely nervous doing YouTube videos. My brain knows that it's not live and that I don't need to do this, you know, I don't get any money from YouTube, so I'm not, it's not my job or anything, I don't need to make videos to survive and I also don't need to post them if I don't like them, but still I always get very nervous filming. So doing a video where I talk is always something I'm rather hesitant about. Although then when I finish it, I'm very, I like it and I'm very proud that I did it. So, hmm. so now I'm using a, a black eyeshadow from this Joanna Moresco Vampire palette, which I really like. Um, I'm going for a purple look today. I wanted to do a purple eye look for a while, but I, I always seem to do my standard red or black because it's just you know if you, if you wake up in the morning and you don't really have time or creative energy you just choose whatever is whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you're you know good at doing or at least practiced in doing uh, I'm going to frame my eyes in black and then add some purple eyeshadow this is difficult. Talking and doing the makeup, how do you always do this to all the creators who talk while getting ready? This is, this is difficult. Well, um, I really think that watching someone actually talking instead of listening to voiceovers is a lot more interesting to view for me personally, but I as I said, I was hesitant about doing it because well, now I see why, because it's difficult, but also because I'm nervous about talking to the camera and then probably also because um, I don't know what to talk about and a lot of these peop these like videos, these makeup videos where people talk in them seem like they just you know, improvise, ramble on, and I'm, I don't know if I'm good at that, but we'll see. You just have to bear with me. <laughs> or not, you know, just leave the video if you don't like it, but I wanted to try to do this because probably it's, it's more interesting for you. I also decided to do this today because I'm, I have a late shift at work. I'm going into the shop at 2 p.m., so 
was a very relaxed morning. I already had breakfast. And now I have some time left, so I don't need to be in a hurry to do the makeup for work so I can I can film it while doing it, I thought. And this is what I'm doing now. So blending this out. Also at work later today, we're gonna do a live stream on Instagram. So I mean if you watch this video then we'll already have streamed probably a couple of days ago. But I'm gonna do a a pretty makeup because <laughs> we're going live later today because we received some new items in the shop and we wanna showcase them to the world. So yeah, I know I'm gonna be in the internet later. <laughs> so it's good to have uh, to feel I mean I feel better if I've done if I've uh, if I put on a face in between stages always looks so funny but as you say trust the process or something I guess it looked like a raccoon but okay so here goes the purple I'm using oops. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Nightshade palette which has some purples and pinks in it and I don't know how much I already said in the intro but um, I decided to do a purple look after I saw one of my friends at the shop with a purple look and I thought wow why don't I do that she looked so pretty with it hi Vanessa <laughs> um, so let's see if I can pull off some purple in the eye area as well oh, this doesn't look very neat my trick is always you know I'm not a makeup artist or anything my trick is always to blend everything with glitter there's just put glitter all over everything and it looks it doesn't look too you know I think that I'm sorry I can't talk while I'm doing my makeup I know why I'm not doing this you know I can't well my point my point is if you feel like it looks messy just blend everything out with some glitter a shiny eyeshadow over it. I'm gonna demonstrate that in a second. <laughs> I always do that because I can't seem to do it very evenly. It looks very messy. I'm sorry. Maybe I need to do some purple underneath as well. Let's see. So this glitter is also in this nightshade palette. I'm just going... Oh, okay. It's very pigmented. I haven't tried this before, so... That's good. That's nice. Isn't it? Oh. You see, I haven't planned any of this. This is all, you know... We'll see, we'll make it up as we go along. Or I always do. <laughs> Probably another reason why I don't like to talk in videos because I don't like to plan it plan it out pretty much. Only video I plan I really planned it out was the shop, like how we opened the shop video because well I've already I already wrote that. So. Does anyone else always have a really messy towel next to the makeup station <laughs> where I always put my finger? I mean, I, I switch the towel from time to time, but you know, not every day. Where I always put my fingers in if I touched any of the <laughs> eyeshadow. And I'm sorry I don't have a black mug today because they were all in use and I just um, put on the dishwasher so I'll have a black mug in the next video probably again. So 
now we're going over this with a little bit of a different shimmery color. This looks nice too. Cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're getting there, I think. Kind of looks like I got a black eye or like two black eyes, right? We call it that. Looks like someone punched me in the face. Like just the process, I think. It look different in the end, hopefully. Also, yeah, nail polish, I know. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm a real person, you know. This doesn't look too bad though, right? For like an in-between stage. I think I want some eyebrows today. I don't always want to because it makes me look more like an alien, but today I think is an eyebrow day. Let's see how we do that. This is just a black eyeshadow uh, with a little bit of water on like this kind of brush. So nothing eyebrow um, specific, just my left foot is falling asleep right now. Why? are not the same. Good enough, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I try to even them out a bit, but the problem I think is I can see that they're different, but I don't really know where they're different. Or is it just my facial expression? Okay, um, I'm going back to my favorite solution and just putting a little bit of glitter on them. Because we know that it makes everything better, hopefully. Okay, so I'm really liking this one shade in the nightshade palette, so I'm gonna use that as a highlighter as well. So it all fits the purple theme. Although, I think I'm gonna go with black lipstick because that's just too much color. If I would, if I were to use a purple lipstick too, that, yeah, well. Okay, now for the eyeliner. Again, nothing special. This is just the Essence Liquid Ink Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm doing this. My neighbors are creeping around above me and I know, although I know that it's, the noises are coming from my neighbors, I just had to get up and check the apartment because I'm alone at home right now and I'm just so paranoid and then I just sat down and they started creeping again and I turned around and I thought I just checked the whole apartment there's nobody here it must be the neighbors now this is just tea but Usually I don't drink coffee before I do my makeup because then my hands will be a little shaky. But as I was uh, getting up so late today, I already had my coffee and now my hands are shaking and I can see it in the results of my eyeliner. Well, I'm just gonna have to live with this now. Now I'm just putting on some mascara and then we'll have extra lashes. I have the matching, like the lashes from the nightshade palette 
like they are called the same. They're just also called nightshade. I can show them to you. I already used them quite a lot, but I really like these. This video is not sponsored, but BH Cosmetics, if you do see this, you know, I really like your stuff, so why not sponsor me? No, but as I said, I, this is not sponsored and not nor are any of my videos right now because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any sponsorships I want to take up. You know, sometimes these companies, they do contact you, but I'm really picky about who I would show here because I'm not one to do advertising for things that I don't usually would like so oh no i did makeup video uh, i mean not makeup i did uh some videos for punk rave because i already like that company so for their clothes but i wouldn't um advertise for anything that i don't like so you don't see a lot of Sponsored videos here. I'm drying the lashes for like one at a time. I used a black duo uh, glue with these. I already used these like a lot, <laughs> but they are pretty in, in pretty good condition. I keep I always keep these um, the packages they come in and store them here so no drunk lash losing because I always I always manage to put them back here somehow miraculously but the other day I put on the <laughs> I put on my lashes the wrong way like I put the left it's not, not with this pair because they are very symmetrical but with another pair I put on the left lash on the right eye and the other way around but I only noticed when I put on the second one so I didn't really care to change it after that and I just went with it and it was okay I know that probably makes me seem very badass to put on the lashes the wrong way wow yep very daring of me it's like putting on the left sock on the right foot or something. Although the lashes are like in the middle of my face, so it's a lot more visible than socks. You know? Okay, so I promised black lipstick with this. So I have a couple of different black lipsticks, but I, I just found this one. <laughs> I mean, I probably have one at work or in my hand bowl, probably. I don't know. Uh, I found the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Black Cat one. This is really good, a really good one, like a lipstick matte. Uh, uh, sorry, a liquid to matte lipstick. Fake, it looks like this. Sometimes I leave out my lipstick in my makeup routine because I'm gonna wear a mask at work because you know at the shop uh, a lot of the time I, I mean when I'm not in the office I'm meeting customers I'm always wearing a mask so why bother with lipstick I think but then if I do a very elaborate eye look I just feel stupid not putting on <laughs> lipstick like if if this is what i'm doing with my eyes and then you know from below the nose there's just nothing in my face i feel stupid so i just put on lipstick and then hide it beneath my mask all day i think this is probably proof that you know we're doing our makeup for ourselves and not for other people <laughs> i do it because i feel like myself in it so um i'm doing it and then i'm putting a mask over <laughs> But, you know, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. I think we're, we're already, you know, finished. 
think this is it. I'm gonna put some setting spray over it. This is Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm very sad that they discontinued the foundation, the All Nighter foundation, and I hope they are gonna bring out a different kind that is as good because I really like this series and you know all that's left is the setting spray but you know oh it really fits my oh it fits the color scheme today it's so nice I'm always very generous with this because I think it, it keeps the makeup really safe all day it's very good so now let's see what I'm gonna wear gonna go with this like velvet H&M dress today. Just gonna use some dry shampoo to get some volume into my hair. As we're, as I said, we're going to do a live stream and we're going to try on the clothes that we're, that we got at work. So if I'm doing an elaborate hairstyle today, which I never do anyways, but it would get ruined. So I'm just leaving them open, I think. Green and purple is really nice together, I think. What do you think? I always put on the same kind of rings. I have a metal allergies, so I can only wear surgical steel rings. That um, limits my kind of choice a little bit. So I have some that I usually wear and I wear them all the time. I just have some that I can switch but a lot of the fashionable ones that you can get like with Killstar and stuff they're not like nickel free or I have several I think I have several different metal allergies as well so yeah when I'm going for this sadly I forgot I just can't remember right now where I got this but it's I think from a little um, individual designer like down in the Etsy shop. Mm. I must remember where I get my things from, but it's a uh, you can you know lose track of these things. I al I also I have this I've had this for a couple of years, so oh, I think this is nice. Right. And this is also not surgical steel, but I can wear it because I'm wearing it under the collar. So. Some simple crosses to stay with the black and silver and I think I'm done maybe put a belt on this or something I'm just gonna keep it really simple today I think with the outfit because I'm I'm only at work from 2 to not to 8 p.m. and then I'm gonna take it all off again so yeah this is it Thank you all very much for watching my very unspectacular <laughs> get ready with me video uh, where I tried to talk into the camera instead of doing a voiceover. So let me know in the comments below how you like that or which do you prefer or which kind of video do you prefer because I'm not sure what I want to do next. So yep. See you. Bye bye.